competency for understanding people and how, why they behave as they do. There's a couple authors that are important. Douglas McGregor. Um, I'll talk about Hertzberg in a minute. But anyway, uh, McGregor uh, and his father had this argument. Uh, his father used to say, these people are lazy. They, they, nothing can get them started. They, they would rather, uh, uh, they would rather do as little as possible. Uh, and the son, Douglas McGregor, said, these people are just down on their luck. They've had a tough time. They, they're, they want to work. They would love to work. And they're trustworthy. But they can't, they can't do it by themselves. Well, they had this constant argument between the two of them. And eventually, Hertz, uh, Douglas McGregor wrote this book, The Human Side of Enterprise. It's one of the leading business books, uh, still is. And he wrote it describing the attributes of Theory X, his father's philosophy toward the poor and homeless, versus Theory Y, his uh, his beliefs about about the poor and the homeless, the lazy, unmotivated people versus the well-motivated, down-on-their-luck people. He converted it into a philosophy. And I urge you to read uh, Douglas McGregor's book, The Human Side of Enterprise. Still a major work as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, I get to Hertzberg. Hertzberg asked the question, how do you motivate people? And his answer is, you can't. Uh, Hertzberg described two kinds of motivation. Uh, positive kita, K-I-T-A, which is a, uh, an acronym for kick in the pants. Now notice the acronym doesn't quite fit the, uh, <laughs> but, but you get the message. And negative keto, which is uh, uh, using a reward system. Now, there's a wonderful quote from Alfie Cohn's book, he, he quotes uh, some author whose name I don't know right now, but he quotes that author who says, uh, the old carrot and stick approach uh, describes uh, how you get movement from a particular species, a jackass. And as far as we know, he says, uh, it's, it's uh, useful for that species only. So, uh, but, the, but in spite of the fact that the behaviorists uh, are discredited, uh, um, B.F. Skinner, and the behaviorists are discredited except by management. The behaviorists, the carrot and stick people, um, uh, have uh, swear that this works I have to check my time. They, it's, they swear that it works uh, offering a combination of rewards and punishments, carrots and sticks. Uh, and management believes that. Most of the management practices are based on the Skinnerian uh, carrot and stick approach. Although you although uh, Skinner himself has been discredited. Um, I, I once did, I once, the, the hardest people to convince this, the folly of the carrot and stick approach, 
the hardest people I ever worked with was when I did some consulting with uh, the Marine Land. Let's see, in, in San, it's in San Diego. It's not. It's not Marine Land, but it's the uh, Sea World. Thank you. I knew somebody would know. Anyway, uh, Sea World and their people not only use the carrot and stick approach to train seals, which may be appropriate, but they used it with each other. And they, they would not believe that the carrot and stick approach was not appropriate for human beings either. But most people uh, agree, although it's a hard sell often. Um, so uh, when you ask, uh, Hertzberg, how do you motivate people? The short answer is you, you can't. <laughs>